So now you have a family and now it's cleaned up, right? And notice if I adjust it, it all stays, right? If I pull it here, if I go up 15 feet. So yeah, it took a few minutes to do, but you know, now it's done, right? wanted to do uh that quick trust thing and it's one of those things that i know i've, I've noticed come up quite a bit um in, in different conversations of the of the trust tool especially with wood framing and timber and stuff and so um i think it'll just be you know, this is my approach to, to trusses um using the tool within the box for what for what the trust tool does i mean obviously if you're doing open web trusses and like that kind of stuff then you want to use the beams that have them you know the actual beams and that, that'd be the way to go right if you're using k joices or whatever it is yeah um but when you're talking about trusts like think trusses and whatever and heavy timber um or even if you're doing um custom yeah custom or, or even if you're doing economic wood framing with you know the the you know your two by four trust systems at, at whatever 24 inches on center um, I do think it's still a decent tool for that. Yeah, so there, there's there's pros and cons to it. Um, so I figured it's an opportunity to sort of show when I've had to do it, how I approach it, but also to make it visually look better too, which is a lot of, I think a lot of, probably as the architects uh, on here would say, it's probably the biggest issue is <laughs> we're putting trusses and, you know, engineered by by others, but we want them there for our drawings and all that other stuff, right? So so you kind of want them there for, for all the other pieces to be accurate. So maybe we'll start with that and then we can dive into other topics beyond it because I don't think this is going to take too long to show. Um, so if for anyone who hasn't used it before, it's under structure and you can see there's a truss here. Um, and by default, this one has the flat truss, which is we're not, it's too boring. We're not going to do that. So we're going to load in a truss family or I'm going to go to, I don't know why they don't have uh, load load Autodesk family from those areas too. Like like when you, for those of you who don't know in, in 24, and I think 23 has it too, <clears throat> you know, when you, they don't, it, by default, the, the content library is not installed anymore because it's pulling it from a from a, the internet, which is fine, whatever. I actually don't really care about that part of it. The family browser is not all that bad from it. But what annoys me is like in this area, like it just says load family. Like if this should have load family and load Autodesk family, right? It, because now you go here and you deal with the same crap as you would in load family, um, as opposed to when you go to insert, notice there's load family, there's load family and load audits family. So if you don't have the content library installed, you can only load families outside of placing objects. And I was on that kind of annoying. So I'm going to go to load audits family. I'm just going to search address. And this actually isn't, I think this is something that they purchased this browser. Um, I forgot which company they, they bought, purchased it from, but it actually does a pretty, pretty good job in my opinion, as far as just, you know, the out of the box uh, family. And I think you can add content to it when I put. Um, so we're going to do a, a six panel how, how Gable trust. So I'm just going to load that in. Go back to structure trust. There we go. Let me just put one that's uh, 60 feet long right here. You know, by default, you can see what it did. It, it generated the shape and hopefully you guys can see the shape there. Um, and what it's doing is it's placing a, a defaulted framing type on it. So if I go to edit type, you'll see um, that it's essentially, I think I think by default, it just throws on whatever is the the first one that was loaded into this. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it determines the default, but it's usually the first one, the first structural framing family that's loaded in the file. So that's, you know, super simple. And, and again, what I like about it is it is flexible, right? If you want the height of it to be, you know, 16 or uh, 15 feet, you click apply, right? It goes through it. I do kind of wish that um, you had, instead of 15 feet, you do it by, um, slope but it is what it is so if i go down back down to eight feet you know that's adjustable obviously if you pull this kind of stuff it's adjustable so you know to that extent it's kind of nice right it's a flexible tool without being like this custom because building this in the family environment you can obviously right but it's it would be heavy like this this movement all these adjustments and angles and stuff would actually be very heavy in the family environment it would be it, you know it would be flexible but you know it would it would it would bog, bog down the model quite a bit um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert load audit as family. I'm going to make a wood truss today. So we're going to do a nice wood truss. So I'm just going to go lumber. I'm going to load some dimensional lumber. 
we'll make it a two by six and a two by four truss, something like that. All right. So now I'm going to edit the type. I'm going to build this into the actual type. So we're going to say the, uh, and I could duplicate it. I'm not going to do it for today, but obviously you'd want to duplicate it. Um, and so now we're going to look at top cores, bottom cores. I'm just going to apply, um, you know, two by, we'll do two by sixes and then two by fours, maybe for the wedding. Obviously you could also adjust things like, you know, where's the analytical model. If you're into that thing, uh, I don't think very many people are still, but so the webs, we're going to do two by fours. So now it's, you know, that that's, that's what it's going to be. Anytime you make this trust, that's what it's going to be. Bottom cord, I'll do two by six. And that's it for this thing. Click apply. Okay, so a couple of things that people always hate about this. First, it's the, the way this stuff copes, right? <laughs> it, it it pulls it away, and there's different reasons why it does that, but it's it's because there's structural framing, and anyone who's tried to put structural framing together, even outside of a truss, this is kind of what it does. Um, it also has no way to really generate connection details unless you unless you build them into these family types and it gets super complicated. And so we'll talk about gusset and stuff afterwards. But for now, I want to give you a, a a quick tip on how to how to best clean up these these copes. Um, so the manual process um, would be, you know, if you selected these these pieces here. So let's, let's select this one, and you unpin it, <clears throat> similar to a beam, right? You have to basically extend it beyond beyond what's there, and then you can cope it. Right? So you can go to structure. Actually, I think you need to hit the you need to hit the truss first. Hit cope. And then you can do this, oops, wrong way, that way, and that way. And then even though you coped it, there's also still a coping distance, which we talked about in another, another um, office hour, which unfortunately can't be zero. Um, so you can do like 1 64th of an inch, <laughs> and it looks like zero, right? So that's kind of the manual process. And that's that's pretty much still the process. The nice thing about it is you can... You can do it uh, on a larger scale, and this is kind of how I would do it, is if I said, and for now, obviously, I can select all in view because um, there's nothing else in the view. Obviously, there's other two by fours, whatever. Um, personally, when I do this kind of stuff, I might I might duplicate a dimensional family or, or, or the lumber family and make one called trust so that I have a, um, you know, one that's being used for framing, one that's being used for trust, whatever. Um, so what I what I usually do to quickly set this up is I'll, un, I'll select all the webs, I'll unpin them. So this this one for some reason you can actually go negative with the the join and end join cutback. So if I go negative six negative six, what you'll see is I can actually globally make these webs blow out beyond it. So I can go really really far, or I can go tight and do individual ones. Doesn't really matter. But for now, I'm just going to say negative two feet for one of these and negative two feet for the other one. Right. So you can do that. Even though they're unpinned, this is what's weird about um, the truss the trusses is even though they're unpinned um they stay linked to that and so until you blow up the trust by saying remove trust family they're still linked to that okay um so then from here now what i can do is is i can do a basically a multiple multiple cope um actually i should have done this one too yeah so let's unpin this and this one i'll just do manually because i don't feel like i'm through the whole process so i'm just going to launch this thing way up to here good enough then you hit the trust family, you go to cope. And then what you see on the bottom down here, it says select the element to be coped and then um, and then select you know the object there. You also have the ability to do a multi a multi cut here. So see multiple cut. So if I check that off, I hit this element. I'm gonna do the wrong order, I bet. Yeah, so this element, then this guy. What you'll notice is I can actually go through and now I can actually you know, start coping these things pretty quickly. And then I'll do the same thing here. And don't worry about the extension. We'll pull it back, but you'll get the idea. So then I'll do cope here. I'll hit one of these guys. Then I'll just go around and I'll hit some of this stuff. Right? Do, 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 do. This guy. And then you got to do it around here too. So cope. Hit this guy first, then this, then this. So again, it's multiple, so it's not too bad. I'm able to do it. And you'll notice I can even do, I can cope it twice. Right, so it's going through that thing, which is great. And then I got to cope these edges here too. So what's weird about the trust family too is you have to notice I have to select the trust family in order to hit cope in order to do these guys. If you select the individual beams, I don't think they work the way you want them to, which is bizarre, but it's what it is. There we go, this guy. 
and then I press escape, sorry. Oh. Okay. And now from here we can select all instances. Right. Now we can we can change that coping distance to one sixty-fourth of an inch, or if you want to go even finer, you feel free. Um, and then I went I went extreme, right? So I obviously went a little too far on all of these to that that negative two feet. So maybe I'll try all of them back a little bit first, and then maybe I only adjust one or two. But um, the nice thing about it is you're what I'm showing you here. You're really only doing once, right? And if you really want, you know, you can. I didn't cope that, did I? You know, the ones that that are a little tweaked, you can pull these again. This is not disassociating them from from the um, from the truss. This guy I should cope too, moment, just to make it really pretty. Okay, so then we go here, we say cope, uh, this guy, this guy, there we go. All right, so in uh, the two by sixes, those need a better distance. Better distance. The one sixty fourth. I wish that could be zero. I don't know why, but whatever. Okay, so so now you have a family, and now it's cleaned up, right? And notice if I adjust it, it all stays, right? If I pull it here, if I go up fifteen feet. So yeah, it took a few minutes to do, but you know now it's done, right? Um, and then from there, you know, what I would usually do is I would typically use an array here. Um, so, and there's different ways you could use it, but I would typically use an array. So then instead of grouping and whatnot, and let's say it's six feet on center for whatever reason, and there's 10 of them, you know, and now this way you, you essentially have a group, you have an array and it's good to go. So if you need to adjust one of them, you go edit group, you select it, you change this to 15 feet, click finish. And then they all jump up to the 15 feet, right? Now, if you want to put some gussets on it or something, um, now that I now that it's an array, it's a group essentially. Um, this is yeah, typically I'll do it in here, so I'll have to load. Um, and <laughs> if you want, um, let me get out of the group. If you want, um, you know, there's plenty of families out there that you can get or make that have bolts on them and look all cool. And I think I have one in another project, but um, just out of the box, if you're ready, just throw something on there that generally looks good. I actually usually use, and I hope this will work because I haven't done it in a while. I used to use, I think, the column plate because I think it's face-based. Let's see. I don't remember if it's face-based, but I think it is. Right? Yeah. So the column base plate is actually face-based. And so even though it's a column base plate, it's got these four you know, four things on here. And, uh, and so you can put it on this. So what I'll do here is I'll get inside this first of the array. I'll edit the group. I'll toss and you know you could get different plates obviously and we're, we're not worried about that right now um you know i'll place it on face so let's say uh let's put it on here for now and yeah it doesn't have the bolts in it or anything and whatever but you get the idea so i'll align this here you know you could adjust the size you know this this whole spacing all that good stuff we're not going to worry about that i just want to show you guys the the actual concept here um you know of what exactly I'm doing maybe i'll copy it this time Gonna yell at me because it's face space. Oh, that's ugly. Let's take that away. Okay. Ooh, what happened here? Did I blow that up. I didn't pull that one back. That's weird. I must not have changed that extension when we're messing around. Or that might have been because I changed the slope and the extension. Or whatever. Um, so now you can always mirror this, put them on each side, but you get the idea. And the nice thing is because now it's an array, it's a group. If I click finish, you know, there you go. Here you've got you've got your sort of trust so you know not great not amazing but um a really in my opinion a, not that bad of a way to to sort of get get trusses especially this type of trussing in your project and it's way better than trying to make a trust family i could tell you that like if you tried to make this thing as a, a extrusion based family with all the stuff nope nope not gonna happen <laughs> pretty cool questions on that do those plates move? Uh, move as in what? If you adjusted something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you squish it down. Let's see. They might, but I don't think they will, no. No, so I just went down. Uh-oh. The width. <laughs> oh, you want to try the width? Something just blew up. Though. Hold on. Keep consistent. Which groups? Oh, fix groups error message. Yeah, the base plate. It's freaking out. Um, then you're actually better off not hosting it at all, right? It's, it's being hosted to the level with an offset and then copying along. So, um, you know, to that extent, what we would do, and I can't, I can't do it with this because the work plane wouldn't work. It's flat, 
but <clears throat> let's 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 imagine that this was straight up um, by placing on a work plane, you know, similar to any other group, instead of hosting to an object that's being arrayed, you know, it's hosted the work plane, so then it's just copying along it. Um, so that, in theory, that would probably be the best the best practice, not the base based. You know, so let's just say this was the the plate base plane for whatever reason. Now this is based on level one, um, so yeah, it can copy this way, but uh, it won't blow up when the uh, when the group moves and stuff like that. But notice these ones; these ones did a fine job because they're not hosted anymore. Um, even if I even if I adjust this one, it'll probably be you know it has no issues if I went up or down or around or whatever. So that's a good point that uh, I was trying to be fast with the uh, base base, but I, I completely forgot that base base is going to. Um, and then the coping there is removing because the the angles making these beams spread out on the top the top flange. So that's yeah, that's that's just something easily fixed. And again, you only have to fix it on the first one, right? So you fix the coping on this one and then when you finish it, the rest of it's fine. So that's how I would manage that's how I would manage trusses. I don't know. I, I hope that helps. I, I remember who was it that asked the question? Maybe Ryan? I don't know. Either way. Uh, so yeah. That's trusses. <laughs>